a lot of people do look at a burn forest and just see destruction and mayhem and they think that all the wildlife value has been lost but that's not true because every species has different habitat requirements um, some species if you don't have fire on the landscape we're not going to have those species think about black back woodpeckers the northern hawk owl where do we find them here in glacier national park only in areas where it's burned um, and so we have to have burned areas we have to have a multiple types of habitat on the landscape. Oh, I see a mountain bluebird <laughs> right over there. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have to have all kinds of habitats on the landscape to support all kinds of species. You can't just have everything green and old growth. You can't have everything burned. You can't have everything just real young saplings or meadows. It's the, all the combination of those habitats and also the juxtaposition of those habitats. Um, anytime you have like um, snags, that's a standing dead tree adjacent to an open area, that's when you get all the tree swallows, the violet green swallows. And all of these species are insectivores, so they really play an important biological role in our forest. And then the sun goes down and what happens? The bats show up. And they play the same role as a lot of our insectivorous birds. Um, and they really like some of these burn habitats, especially if we have like the big larch with the bark retained. They will roost behind the bark or in the cavities that the woodpeckers have made. So it's all interconnected and a little bit of habitat for all of them. <laughs>